Good evening ladies. I just wanted to do a quick video um, about one of the classes that I took at convention and it was one of my uh, favorite ones out of all of them. It really, uh, for me, it really hit home because I didn't want to be a spammer on Facebook. Be like, oh god, here comes another thing about he lets his makeup business, blah blah blah. Like I'm sure it happened and um, I wanted to change it so the one thing um, the name of this um, was sharing versus selling attraction marketing so I'm just gonna be kinda reading some of my notes so bear with me just in my pajamas here too and uh, I don't know about you but I'm super excited the kids are going back to school tomorrow yes! anyhow just had to get that out so sharing versus selling so as I said, um, I wanted, I'm changing, after I took this course, it really made me think about how I wanted to um, share my love of Unique with all of my family and friends without making it spammy and annoying. So I'm just going to read my notes and I might add a little bit here and there. So here we go. Okay. So. Sharing versus selling. So what you want to do is you want people, you want to get people to come to you. You don't want to have to approach them. They want to come to you because of the things that you're posting on your page. Now, this is just going on my main Facebook page, not my business page, because I know a lot of you are part of my Elisa's Beauty, Elisa's 3D Mascara Beauty Bar. That's different. Um, because you know that is all about my business so I will post different things on there but I'm actually kind of getting more away from that and doing more just kind of advertising kind of sharing on my main Facebook page um, and you've got to be careful not to uh, post your website on your business page too um, it's okay to do once in a while but don't be doing it too often because you don't want to be end up in Facebook jail they've got the crazy rules Facebook anyhow so we want to share effectively. We don't want to be spammy. An uh, example of this can be like, you know, I can't believe I got four mascaras on Monday and they're all gone. Hashtag, I love this stuff. Simple, 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 right? Has to be, you have to have a communication between you and your customers. And I've talked to a couple of you guys before about the 80 20 rule 80%, you know, your family and other things you love, only 20% unique. That's it. Because um, as I said, you don't want to be posting, 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 posting. Now I know, we you know when new products come out, like we did in fall, I was super excited. I probably went a little crazy. So anyhow, try not to do that too much. It's, it's okay to do once in a while, but not too much. Um, you want to make yourself relatable. You don't want any drama on Facebook. And you want to keep it positive. You don't want any negativity on your Facebook page. Um, as I said, 20% should be sharing. You just want to share the excitement. You want your customers to feel the excitement that you have for your products. So making those videos, posting selfies, stuff like that, they're huge guys. I can't express how important those are. Yes, it's going to be a little nerve-wracking doing videos and selfies and stuff like that, the more you do that you do it, the easier it is. And you know what? If you make mistakes, that's all good. It makes you relatable. People make mistakes, right? And they can relate to that. You're a real person. They see you making mistakes. It can be funny anyways, right? Just have fun with it. Um so I said no website attached, um, just posting images about the product. Um, get to know your customers too. Listen to them. Um Another thing uh, that you can do is, you know, you just say like, you know, I just learned this awesome new technique and I can't wait to show it to you, um, stuff like that. It's like this, the law of attraction, right? Um, people see stuff that you're posting, they relate to that, they want to do what you're doing, they want to feel that excitement, they want to, anyways, I'm kind of rambling there. Anyhow, um, putting, oh yeah. The law of attraction, putting out positive vibes. So as I said, be positive, be happy, no negativity. Um, thank your customers um, when they do um, make a purchase from you and you can tag them 
uh, and you, you can post on your page, but as well, post on their wall as well, thanking them so that their friends can see that they've purchased those products. Um, effective versus ineffective marketing, no links, no spam, minimal cap locks and exclamation, um, get to know your product. Um, and this is, I think, really important. Sell like you want to be sold to. And share like you would like to be shared with, right? So just think, if you're going to do something, say, if I saw that, would I want to buy that product? Or would I be like, ugh, I don't want to see another post like this, right? So try to think about it. Anytime you're posting something or doing something with your business, think about if that was you on the other end, would you like having it sent to you or messaged to you that certain way? So something really to think about. Um, listen to your customers. Um, always provide a solution when they have problems. Um, talk about why you love it. Like Talk about why you love the products. Demo the products, as I said. Demoing the products is great. Even if you have some friends over, just say, oh, guys, check out this awesome mascara that I have. Look at what it does to your eyes and get it out and just show them. Um, when people see the difference this, these products make and they try it and they touch it and they feel it too, like they'll, they're going to want it. You guys know this stuff is amazing stuff, right? Um, be consistent with your business. Consistency is key, right? So be consistent. Um, you need to gain your customer's confidence. Um, if you, when your customers have a question um, and you don't know it, you can Google um, the information for them. Um, share your knowledge and tips. Learn about the collections that we have and all of our products. Present yourself as a professional. Get into the habit of learning new techniques all the time. You know, I'll be sharing those techniques with you guys too, so you can always just kind of copy those as well. Um, just have confidence in the expertise in your products. Get to know your products. Um, a good thing to do um, when you're dealing with customers and talking to your customers, pretend like you're in front of a counter when you're answering a question. Be a professional. And always present yourself as a confident presenter. Even if you don't know the answer, just, you know, it, you can be truthful to them and say, you know what? Let me get back to you. I just have to do, I just have one to check on a few things and I'll get right back to you. But don't you worry, I'll get that answer back. I'll, you know, I'll answer you. Um, and of course, as I said before, um, uh, thank your customers. Always make sure you thank your customers. And a huge thing is follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. I can't stress on the following up. It's so important. So after your friends have received their products, you know that they've received them, give them maybe a week and then follow up and ask them, so Sue, you got your mascara. I'm so excited that you got your product. How is it? Are you loving it? Question mark. Always end with the question mark. Okay. Anyhow, just that's it. Don't want to make this too long. Um, anyhow, ladies, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me anytime. I'm here for all of you guys. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys excel in this company and just have fun with it. I love this company. We can make such a huge impact on women all over the world and make them feel beautiful. And I love it. So anyhow, guys, take care. Have a great night and chat soon. Bye. Mwah.